Hello, in today's video I'm going to be showing you some lovely books on collage and collage inspiration as well as a bit of mixed media as well. The first book I have here is The Art of Expressive Collage, Techniques for Creating with Paper and Glue. This is by Crystal Neubauer and it's got some lovely images in, lots of inspiration. I really do like her work, I like her style. She uses a lot of natural colours and natural elements in her work. There's lots of lovely pictures to look at, just to give you inspiration. Bit of a bit of a view into the studio there. She suggests tools. They almost always suggest tools. Uh, a few techniques. This is how to alter a book cover. But you can see a lot of her work is very natural and soft and easy to look at. Very beautiful. I had a go at doing something like this when I did some wax collage not so long ago. Bit of sewing I think on there. Look how simple that is yet so effective. There's how many pages I'm not quite sure it's a nice full book anyway. I think here she's using a bit of beeswax. Beautiful there's a canvas made there. So lots of ideas for collage, even if you don't do exactly what she does, there are a few hints and tips that will get you trying something new, I'm sure. And this is published by createmixedmedia.com and is available still on Amazon, I'm sure. Now this one is Storytelling with Collage. Techniques for Layering, Colour and Texture by Roxanne Evans-Stout. This was published in 2016 by Northlight Books. I do like their books. And again, as with, with Northlight Books, the photography is fantastic. And again, lots of inspiration, hints and tips on what tools to use. And look at these lovely um, collages. I love those. Very effective. And these would be great in art journals, junk journals, postcards, even gift cards, I think. Or canvases for your wall. Now this reminds me very much of the new power with the neutral colours. But then she does use fabrics. There's even a chicken wishbone there. And I love those how those colours echo uh, shapes echo each other beautiful soft gentle colours as well. So this book is full of inspiration and eye candy. She uses, she uses more um, found objects as well. I love how she did this. Beautiful. Lays items out so well. So you'll enjoy going through this book and just finding lots of little ideas that you can try out yourself if you haven't got it already. I think this is still available on Amazon as well. If not brand new, you could buy. Look at that, how um, how amazing is this with all these lovely rusty bits, metal bits added. I love that. That's by Seth Apter. He has a book as well, but I haven't got this one here. And these are some photographs that you can use. And here's another artist called Rebecca Brooks. So she's uh, showcasing a few artists beautiful work. Another beautiful layout. So this gives you some ideas of things to use outside our usual format of paper. We can use other things. Sarah Fishburne. I think a load of these you would have heard of. If not, go and look them up. Their work is lovely. I'm sure they'll be on Instagram and things. Look at these beautiful natural elements. I love all these leaves and flowers and things. Um, I think I'm going to have to organise some kind of flower press for myself. Because why not? A 
But look at this one, that's very different with the brighter colours. So you don't not only have to paint in neutrals or collage in neutrals, you can use some lovely colours as well, which is kind of what I like to do. Beautiful works. So you'll enjoy this book if you do invest in it, I can recommend it. Look at those amazing pieces she's used there. Look at that, Karen Cole that is. How gorgeous is that? Wonderful. And the, as I said, this is published by Northlight Books. Oh no, it's um, createmixedmedia.com. I thought it was Northlight. So that's storytelling with collage. Now this one you may already have. Um, Art Journal Freedom, How to Journal Creatively with Colour and Composition by Dina Wakeley. Now so many people have this book. I thought she had more than one book, but I couldn't find another one. I just love, everyone knows her techniques, I do know. But if you haven't got this book, I can recommend getting it. It's got lots of lovely ideas in it. A bit of sewing there, I always like a bit of sewing. And I love how she uses figures. I must say, I've been using figures myself like that for a long time. I did it um, at university as well. Lots of lovely pages to look at and be inspired by. So they will spark your ideas. And that is a good thing about getting books for inspiration because sometimes I don't know about you, but sometimes you can get a little bit blocked and I can recommend getting out some of these books and having a flick through and looking at the pages and, and thinking about how the artist made them. And even if you don't do something exactly the same, you might end up with a piece of work that suits you for that time. Here she's using black spray paint. She uses it in the negative and the positive. And then how she puts it all together. There's a little bit about her at the back. And this was published in 2013. Gosh, that's quite a while ago. So I can recommend that book if you haven't got it already. I love this book. This is Collage Unleashed, Paint, Bind, Stitch, Play by Tracy Bautista. This was published in 2006, so it's quite old, but I'm sure it's still available. If not brand new, I think there'll be sellers there who have secondhand um, issues. Isn't that lovely with our little dogs? I really love this book. There's lots of beautiful pages to look at here. Lots of texture, colour, interesting shapes. Lots to inspire you here. So I'm showing you a flick through, but um, you can always pause to have a closer look if you'd like. Love that. It's very complex, I think. And I, perhaps I like that. I like the way she uses text in her work. It's something I find quite difficult to do effectively. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is well worth investing in as well and having in your library, I feel. Look at that, beautiful. Lovely mixture of textures there. And that's hanging, isn't that fantastic? I've decided I'd like a hanging in my studio. And at the back, I think these are bits you can cut out and use. Or photocopy and use. Um, I can't see who the publisher is of that one. Now the next one, this may not appeal to many people, but I decided I would include it because I would like to be able to include portraits in my artwork. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing and it's a skill I've I've worked hard to maintain over the years, um, but I don't know how to use it in my uh, mixed media work and I don't really want to do portraits as a living. So it's something I would like to figure out how to incorporate into my mixed media work. And I'm hoping this book is going to help me. It's got lots of lovely images and I'm going to read it and I may report back in here underneath later on when I've read it and if I can incorporate any of the works. I love it. Look at that page, lovely texture. That is so what I would like to be able to do. So watch this space, see if I ever turn out anything like this. I would be so happy. 
amazing work so this is um mixed media portraits with pam carica techniques for drawing and painting faces this was published um in 2015. Uh, there's a bit of blurb on the back that's very uh, worth reading but yes it depends if you want to incorporate portraits in your art i can recommend it Oh, that is Northlight, Northlight books, I do believe. Now, the last one I've got here, I love this book. I've had, I've bought this before and uh, I've bought it again. <laughs> this is Kaleidoscope, Ideas and Projects to Spark Your Creativity by Suzanne Simonatis. This was published in 2007 and I think I bought it then as well. In those days, there weren't quite so many books, but I love this. Now, this isn't a how-to book. That is something really worth uh, emphasising. It doesn't have a lot of how you do this. What it does have are lots of thoughtful essays about being an artist, about being productive and being creative. And that is the beauty of this book. And it's why I bought it a second time. I do this uh, when I move house, moving house with lots of books, because um, we all love lots of books, don't we? Um, I always have a bit of a clear up before I move house. So I did clear out a few of these books. So I loved that. There's so many great ideas. There's bags made with mixed media. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. That would be fun. So yes lovely little ideas there so that's my six books that i can recommend i love that standing up mixed media piece that's a good idea so these are the six books that i would like to add to my list of books that i recommend for artistic inspiration particularly with mixed media and collage i will list them down below in case you didn't catch who they were thank you very much for watching bye